Hi, my name is Denise. Now that we've gone over what all the buttons do, let's go over uh, what the toolbar does. So when I refer to a toolbar, what I am referring to is this right over here. This is my toolbar. Now, you'll notice that there's a lot of arrows, a lot of buttons, don't worry about it. I'm gonna go through what they all do briefly. So you'll notice the first one at the top, this allows you to move your toolbar left and right, not up or down, just left or right. You'll also notice that we've got a little pointer tool there. It looks kind of like a mouse. That is your selection tool. Your selection tool allows you to select objects. It'll pull up a menu at the top that you'll be able to copy, cut, uh, lock the image or delete it. You'll also have the resizing options right over here. So I'll be able to resize this image. I'll also be able to move it around. The next one allows you to uh, select the thickness and color of your writing tool. So if I wanted to change this to orange, I would do it here. The next option has uh, your writing tool options. The first one is a traditional pen option. It leaves strokes on your canvas. The one after that is the marker tool. The marker tool allows you to highlight over strokes, images, um, the next one after that, we've got our pointer tool, which allows you to bring attention to areas of your canvas without leaving a permanent mark. After that, we've got our um, AI writing tool, which will transform my normal pen writing into text. We've also got the shape one. This one will do something very similar to the AI writing tool, so it transformed my wobbly square into a nicer square. After that, we'll have our eraser tool. Now, when you first select it, you'll be able to erase all pen strokes and marker strokes. You'll notice that it will not erase shapes or text, just marker and strokes. You'll also notice if you tap on it, you'll get another option so you can select the clear strokes. That option will clear all your pen marks. Now, I often accidentally select the other option on here, which is clear canvas. If that happens to you, do not freak out. There is a way to get everything back. You'll notice at the very bottom of our toolbar, we've got a back arrow. That is your undo button. It's back. We have nothing to fear. Next, you'll notice we have our lasso tool. This tool allows you to group objects together, move them, resize them. The next option is our sticky notes. This one is really fun to use. You just have to tap on the screen. Now you've got your sticky notes. You'll be able to uh, type in something, hit done, pull it down and here we go. We've got our awesome sticky notes. Here's where you can also resize them and move them along. You'll be given the option also to uh, keep writing in there, duplicate it, cut it out, and all of that stuff. If you select the next option, is this your pre-made shapes and arrows. So here you'll have your shapes. You'll be able to switch the colors up top. You'll also have your straight lines like this and your arrows. Again, all you have to do is tap on it and then here's where you can change your color by tapping on the first one. We'll make this one lime green and here we go. This other button before the arrow is the square with the plus sign. The square with the plus sign will pull up a side panel. This side panel is extremely useful. As you'll notice, it has three tabs at the top. It's gonna start in the middle one, which is your files tab. This is how you can import documents. Once you link your uh, document uh, drive of choice, so for example, I love to use Google Drive and OneDrive, but you just have to log it in once. Once you log in and link it, you don't have to do it again. So if I wanted to pull in something from Google Drive, or for my OneDrive, I would simply tap on the screen, then it will pull up my uh, folders that are in there. And if I wanted to pull in a photograph, I would select this, click X to get out. And now my photograph becomes part of my canvas where I can then continue with my presentation. This is the same process for uh, uh, importing documents, any type of document that you have on your, on your drives. If we go back to that square with the plus sign and select the images tab, this is a Google image search. 
Here, if I tap in, um, let's say we'll bring in a cat. I select search. It's going to search for images of cats. I will select the image that I want the most. So we'll select this cutie over here. Again, I have the option to resize here and move around my canvas. You'll also notice the templates tab. This is again, another way to view your templates. You can scroll down, select one that you like, tap on it, it becomes part of your canvas. You can also create your own. If you want more info on how to create your own canvas, just visit our Knowledge Article Center. We have tons of helpful articles there with step-by-step -step instructions on how to create your uh, templates. To exit this view, we're just gonna click X. Thank you for watching the Canvas Overview video. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us. I hope you have a wonderful day.